This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. I'm back out here at these apartments that we've done a bunch of work at. And what we've got going on today here is we've got a sump pump and a sump basin right here that is not doing what it's supposed to. So what happens is the, the water just like backs way up into here and backs up in here. And apparently during the last really big rain, this unit right here, the water was like flowing through the door and then flowing right through this wall into the kitchen area. And they also had water that was flowing all the way down in this laundry room. So like water flowing down that hallway. And so if you look at the area here, you can see that there's nowhere for the water to get out of here. We're going uphill this way. We're going uphill this way. And you can see what's going on over there. So I had actually quoted this about two years ago when we first came over here. And this was an item that was on their list of stuff to fix. And so interestingly, another company came out here I guess there was a communication error or something and they dug this trench right here and apparently it just made things like way way worse so I've said it before if you have water that's in a pipe such as a downspout keep it in a pipe so I'm gonna say recommend piping this gutter directly into a new sump basin we're gonna replace the sump basin put in a bunch of gravel around it and critically, the pump that I'm gonna put in can pump these fines. So you have fine sediment that gets in here with all this mud, and don't put a cheap pump like this one in here. Put a pump in there that can pump the particles, that can pump the sediment, and that will make this thing pretty much maintenance-free. Including, or what I'm gonna include in my quote is cleaning out with my jetter hose, these two to make sure they're actually flowing correctly. And then I just talked to the property manager. She wants me to include pressure washing and getting these patios cleaned up. Now look at this patio. This one's really bad. So all this dirt and mud, they want that all cleaned up. So I'll give them a separate quote for that. But yeah, that's what I'm working on over here today is taking a look at this. I guess I've been out here, this is the third time I've been out here looking at this. So I think they're finally ready to do it. This is the inside of that unit and it wasn't flooding and, and that big of a problem. It was kind of on their list of stuff, but I guess the last rain, it really flooded in here. And so now they've got to get this taken care of. So they moved the resident out and they're trying to get things squared away here. This job has definitely been a little while in the making and they've had some bigger problems and bigger projects they've been working on over there at the apartments. But apparently we had a really big rain and that one apartment flooded, so we've got to get something going on here with this. The, the sump basin I want to put in, I'm going to line it with gravel, and that will allow, that gravel will be a filter, and any, any sediment that gets through the gravel will be able to be pumped by the pump out of there. And so that'll be a big improvement on that. So I think that will be a really good solution for that low area that has nowhere for the water to drain out to. As far as the other company goes, you might be wondering why they hired somebody else to do a drainage solution instead of me. From what I understand, the other company just kind of slid in and, and did the work and didn't really get approval to do anything. And then they sent them a really, really high invoice. And I guess they were just hoping it would get paid and nobody knew what was going on. So that's kind of a fiasco going on right now. And hopefully I'll be over there pretty soon to get that new sump pump put in. So this will be an interesting job and I can't wait to see it working too. So stay tuned for that. As far as drainage assessment videos, I will put a link to my assessment playlist and there you can see a bunch of just widely different scenarios and I go out and take a look. Some of those projects, I got the job, some of them I didn't, but that makes a good way to, to put that content up there and those particular problems and solutions that I came up with. So check that out. And I'll also put a link to how you can support the channel down in the description. All right, thanks for watching. If you have found any value in my channel, you can help support the channel and you know what to do here. 
You can also become a patron or you can buy me a coffee and I've got the links down in the description for those. Thanks again for watching.